Maybe it's you. A lot of folks will be firing up the grill for their 4th of July parties. If you don't feel like cooking, Vivian Restaurant in Beverly Hills is hosting an all-you-can-eat barbecue. And Chef Michael Hung is here with some of the goodies right off the menu. And Chef, this is a special menu only available this weekend, right? That's correct, Juan. We are doing a July 4th barbecue. It's mm -hmm. going to be a poolside at the restaurant. Beautiful restaurant designed by Kelly Wurstler. Um, I'm going to be out there myself manning the grill. Mm -hmm. Grilling up some of uh, some of the stuff that you see here today. And if you haven't been to the Avalon Hotel where the restaurant is located, it's uh, named one of the best patios to sit in as well, isn't it? A absolutely, absolutely. It's it's definitely an iconic space. It's been around for about 70 years. Uh, Marilyn mm -hmm. Monroe used to stay there, and you know the centerpiece of our restaurant is this beautiful crystal clear heated pool. It's beautiful, and we have some beautiful food here that people are going to be able to enjoy. Let's start over here with the uh, mahi mahi. What do we have here? Um, this is just mahi mahi, simply grilled. I mean, mahi mahi is like a, a very nice grill fish to grill because it's firm and it's mm -hmm. also flaky once it's cooked up. And we've done it with some salt, some pepper, and a little bit of smoked paprika. That's it. We were talking earlier. Paprika is being used in a lot of dishes these days. It seems like. Yeah, absolutely. I think paprika is one of those spices that translates well to many many categories and it's nice and smoky too. yeah it's right? smoky it's a little sweet so it's a great it's a great spice to use across the board and for barbecue especially exactly right? and what about the salad here um, this is just a summer vegetable salad so we have some little gem lettuces um, some zucchini some radish some corn um, I like to keep my salads really fresh really simple and let the the flavors of the produce itself shine through how do you come up with a menu a concept idea to, to put forth Put it all together. Uh, well, for July 4th, you know, for me, it's always been about American, classic American food. So it's really easy to, to go through that canon and pick mm -hmm. foods from those flavors. Wow, very nice. We have some burgers here. Yep, classic mm -hmm. burger. It's a double cheeseburger. Um, we've got some secret sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion. And, uh, you know, what, what's better than a burger on July 4th? Who doesn't 4th? love a burger, Yeah, right? exactly. And do you ever reveal what's in that secret sauce? Or? Um, well, it's, <laughs> I think the name is just secret sauce. But, yeah, if you, if you want to hit me up at the restaurant, I'll be at the grill poolside. So just well, ask me and I'll what give you the recipe. What a great tease there, right? He'll tell you his secret to his secret sauce. And who doesn't love a nice barbecue wing? Look at this. This is, this is one of my favorites because it's a recipe that my, uh, my mother used to do, and it's super simple. Mm -hmm. um, I've got everything prepared just to show it to you real quick if you'd like to see it. Let's do that, and then I want to talk about the potato salad, the cobbler, the brownies that you have to offer okay. as well. So this is a very simple recipe. Yeah, this is it. So right here I've got the chicken wings in a bag, um, some soy, and some honey. Let's and I'm just going to pour that in. I'm just going to lift it up, chef, so the, oh, so the camera can see it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. And a little mm -hmm. bit of soy sauce. This is like a two, three ingredient. Uh... That's it. It's actually five ingredients. And right here I've got some sliced onions, some garlic, and a little bit of um, Fresno chilies. So Very I just nice. throw that all in the bag. How long do you have to marinate this about, if you're doing this? I think two hours minimum. If you want to do it for six hours, that's even better. And Juan, if you want to just shake it up. It's like shake and bake that's back it. in the day. Nice and easy. And we're done. And you would leave this in the fridge? I would just leave this in the fridge for about two hours. And then you can just grill it low and slow. That's the key because of the honey right. and the marinade. Right. So you want to do it nice and slow so you get a nice, easy caramelization. And you were saying this is your mom's recipe. This so is my is mom's it recipe. Vietnamese inspired a little um, bit? Or? It's actually a little bit Filipino Chinese. Filipino yeah. Chinese. Oh, and garlic and onion, I mean, delicious. Absolutely. All right, we have potato salad. And of course, we can't forget dessert. Let's not forget the desserts. Um, we're going to have a beautiful blueberry Look cobbler. This blueberry Very cobbler. classic. Blueberries are incredibly delicious right now. Lots of uh, flavor. Um, we're right in the season for it, so it's the perfect fruit to use. Cherries are great this uh, cherries, time of year. Cherries season two, also, aren't they? yeah. If you want to do a cherry cobbler, that's uh, that's amazing. And maybe I'll I'll pick one up for yeah. for July Fourth also. And a quick tip for our viewers: What's an easy way to make a nice uh, crumble for a? Um, the crumble is lots of butter and lots of real butter. <laughs> you you never right. really want to use any shortening for st something like that because you don't get the full flavor. The flavor of butter, yeah, exactly. and of course, uh, potato salad. Potato that's salad. Part of every barbecue, isn't it? Super classic. We like to use fingerling potatoes. Um, because they're a little firmer, they have a waxy texture, and they hold up well to when you refrigerate them, unlike a starchy potato, which gets crumbly. Mm -hmm. And, Chef, I'm going to move these brownies Absolutely. into the light here so our viewers can see it. Tell us about this. This is just a classic brownie. Mm -hmm. You know, we, uh, we just use nice, nice ingredients, great eggs, great butter, um, and then a whole grain um, 
whole grain and organic flour. So you're getting quality ingredients. Yes. A quality chef, delicious recipes, looks fantastic. And what would you uh, recommend me trying just uh, real quick um, here? I think if you want to dig into the potato salad, maybe. I'm going to try that's that. That's going to be quick. pretty easy. And then if you want to get your hands dirty, maybe the chicken wings as well. That is very nice. Thank you so much. Is that dill? That's a little bit of dill, mm. yeah. I love dill and potato salad. A little dill, a little bit of mustard, a little bit of house-made aioli. Nice. All right, thank you so much, Chef. Thanks for being here. For more information about Executive Chef Michael Hung and Vivian Restaurant, just go to kcalline.com and click Scene on TV. Delicious.